with Republicans touting their defense of personal freedom and Democrats condemning the special session called by Governor Ron DeSantis as a political stunt, Florida lawmakers approved measures Wednesday aimed at blocking any kind of vaccine or test mandates. The outcome of the three-day session was never in doubt. The Republican-controlled state legislature finished work Wednesday night on a package of bills that both defy the Biden administration's vaccine or test requirements for larger businesses and stop local governments from enacting such standards. DeSantis called lawmakers back to the Capitol primarily to fight the White House in what Democrats condemned as a political play to enhance the governor's national image and affirm his support among Floridians who refuse vaccinations. What are we doing? Asked Rep. Kelly Skidmore, D. Boca Raton. We are agreeing with a loud minority that vaccines are bad, adding, we are devolving into making sure we are taking care of our political health, not our public health. Republicans saw the action differently. Today we're doing something to protect people's rights, said Rep. Cord Bird, Arnett. We are a legislature and governor who believe in individual rights, including liberty. It's not a charade. It's not a stunt. John Kennedy, Sarasota Herald Tribune A global study has shown that the single most effective public health measure at tackling and preventing COVID-19 is mask wearing, which reduces incidence by 53%. New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham said Wednesday that she believes being fully vaccinated includes boosters, eschewing federal guidance which currently defines it as people with two doses of Moderna or Pfizer or one dose of Johnson & Johnson. The Department of Defense will send medical teams to two major MINA. Tim Waltz announced Wednesday, 